www.wimbledon.uk and then you click on events. Now we're nearing the end of the first week at Wimbledon and there's just one Britain left standing. It's our worst performance in the tournament's history. In the last 20 years, the Lawn Tennis Association has received around half a billion pounds from Wimbledon to nurture the champions of the future. So how's that money being spent? Tom Williams reports from Cambridge. British tennis has looked gloomy for a while, but now a new generation is emerging. Meet 16-year-old Mats from Ipswich and Pippa from Norwich, who's 14. Training partners pushing each other to the limit. Don't stop this intensity now, we keep it going. They are Aegon future stars, 400 selected, only the best could make it. I think it's really important for me because it enables me to, you know, get some funding which enables me to access all these facilities and the um, top class coaching. Oh, I play two to four hours a day and then fitness on top of that. Um, so it takes up a lot of time, that along with schoolwork, but I enjoy it and my game sort of come along leaps and bounds. The LTA receives £30 million a year from Wimbledon profits and almost the same again from Sport England. This club at Hills Road in Cambridge is one of Britain's 19 high performance centres, the only one in the region. For these guys at this level, they have to put a lot in, they have to be committed to the game. Their parents are obviously putting a lot in, travelling with them you know, nearly every weekend. They're trying to do their best, the LTA, and putting their money into the right places and I think that it, it's going in the right direction. British tennis this week has received another battering. Ipswich's Elena Baltacha making a first round exit along with all bar one of the other Brits. But the LTA says it's making progress with 350% more juniors playing competitions, a 16% rise in junior membership and £40 million being invested in facilities. Our goal is to develop the young talent but also to work with the coaches so that they can develop generations of players for the future but we've got to be patient still work to be done but significant investment now is laying the foundation for a bright future tom williams bbc look east cambridge now think olympic training camps and what comes to mind plush facilities in big cities with all the latest technology perhaps but not if you're